Hello. I'm going to give it a couple minutes because I'm just a tad bit early. I guess I push on my table all the time. I don't know. So anyway, bye everybody. We're getting ready to play with some foam. So these are ceramic. So I'm just putting a little bit of foam in the bottom of these. Um, I'm not going to be gluing anything in. I just want something so that they'll be able to, uh, the flowers will be able to stick in. These are for my sister-in-law, for her church. And she wants me to be able to replace them with something else. And you can tell they're very narrow. And um, so it's not something that I'm gonna be able to glue, glue in, so really cute. So. If you wouldn't mind taking a moment to spread the love, sprinkle, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, um, just a quick live here to, uh, Put some foam on this stuff. So this stuff is really sticky and it will ruin things. So I do wear gloves. Um, I try and clean off everything or anything that I don't want to be ruined. So these will be able to be moved. And like once I get these done, I won't be able to really use my table. So until they start drying. So, um, so anyway, so that's why. Hi, Chris. Christine, thanks for joining. Where do I get the saddle forms? I got these from Old Time Pottery, um, but the ones I love the most are from um, Hobby Lobby. I can show you one of those. I just put them over there. They're green, but I usually get them from Hobby Lobby. I like them the best, but I had these and I wanted to go ahead and use them up. So uh, the best ones that I like, they, st they hold on to the uh, headstone the best if, if you ask me so and they're about the same price not too much difference so has anybody ever done a spray foam on a saddle yet I've done I've been doing this these things like this for over a year now so um, there's a bunch of different videos on my YouTube channel Reef Addiction RN if you're wanting to, uh, you know, look at some of that. So, like I said, this really isn't going to take long. So, um, try and keep my pipe cleaners nice and straight. Doesn't really matter, but it just kind of helps whenever you're trying to get around to foaming it. I don't normally get foam in the very last ones, not normally. I get this foam, this was from Walmart, it's called Loctite, T-I-T-E, tile foam, um, it sprays on white. Hi, Patty. Um, I'm just getting some forms ready so that I can make, um, I have a show on June the 5th, and I want to take some a, a small saddle, and then when I'm done with the show, if it doesn't sell, then I'm going to put it on my mom's headstone. <laughs> so, because she doesn't have anything out there for, for summer, so I'm going to do that. So I'm getting these ready. This is for my sister-in-law. These are already sold. Um, for her church. I'm going to spray the bottom of these. I don't know if you can see in there or not. And then, um, hi Penny, and um, 
just so that the when I put the flowers in there they have something to stick to um, you know to put in so they're not flopping all over the place um, they're not going to be glued or anything like that so alrighty I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I have a lot a lot of things to get done today I got all the cop all the pictures done for my listings now I just have to create them in um, an Etsy and put them as a draft until my stuff comes in so alright so I'm just gonna start real slowly just spraying in here so this is a little different because it's way down in there so I'm trying to go around fill up the bottom. I'm not putting a lot in there because it will expand and I do not want this to crack. So I'm just putting some in the bottom. Come on, fall off. Okay, as soon as I get this one done I'll show you what the bottom looks like. Sheena, thanks for sprinkling. So I don't know if you can see in there very well. I'm trying to get some light, um, but that's what that looks like. So, so I'm going to set those off to the side so that we can work on these guys. Oh, I knew that was going to fall. So anyway, all right. And if I need to, um, I have some of the yellow. I just like this one better. It just, I don't know, I like it because if it's, it's a white base, I like it. But I have to say the yellow you can spray a little thinner than you can this one. So I don't know why that is. that one. Let's try it again. Hi Virginia, how are you? Hi Sharon. Sorry, I'm focusing here guys. Thanks for joining me. And you can decide where you want the foam. You know, you don't have to, you can make a smaller section if you want. You can make a bigger section if you want. There's no rules. This is just what I do. everybody for coming on I appreciate it like I said I don't know how much this will do I do have another can over there or I may decide not to do the other one I don't want to open the can for one because you know once you open the cans that's it pretty much like you have to use it you can't save it for later it's now or never Yeah. 
This stuff will pick off after, off of the pipe cleaners, just so you know. All right, I will start this one, but I don't think I have enough for this one. I'm almost positive I don't. Because I can just tell how light the can is. But I have, like I said, I only have, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even gonna mess with it. Because it's about, it's empty. Okay, so that's that. And they have to dry and they get really big. Um, I think I've showed you guys how big they get before. So this is a short video, that's for sure. Um, just trying to clean some of that off since I, I use gloves. I did it without gloves before. It's a um, I don't really prefer a brand, but I do prefer the tile one because it's white. The regular other foam is yellow. And um, I don't know, I just think like it looks better if you, um, if there's any gaps or anything in your mesh, you know, or if the wind blows and then it, you know, you can see through there. So I just use, it. Was, it's a generic kind, it's just called... Um, gaps and cracks for tile so that's what I that's what I use um, what did I want to show you guys um, so I am going to be uh, working on something new uh, a new this is an order somebody asked me if I could make them a glamour wreath so this is Glamma. You're welcome, Joanne. So this is Glamma. And um, I'm going to be fixing her eyes up a little bit. I think I'm going to put some glitter on there. So what do you think? Putting some clear glitter on there so they sparkle. So I think that's going to be good. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Thank you. I miss you, too. Julie and I are birthday sisters. So, um, so anyway, so I'm going to be making that. That's for Cloyd's cousin. She's going to be a grandma for the first time. So, she wanted that. So, yeah. So, we're going to do that. I'm going to get the supplies ready for that. Um, uh, cause she's the star of the show, you know, so... It's not about the wreath for her, so. All right, guys. I have a lot of paperwork to do, so I'll get those things ready because as soon as they send me that and I pay for the order, it'll probably be here by the end of the week. So I want to be able to just sit down and activate all my listings. So once I get those done, okay? So, um, but I'm probably going to go live. Good morning. Thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm probably going to be live later uh, making a project once these things dry enough that I can move them. So um, I do have a project. We got the strawberry, um, but I also have um, a couple other projects to finish. So um, I still have to finish that um, headstone piece and then... Um, I don't know. I got, like I said, I have several things. So, yep. So I'll be on next time. So thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye. I don't want to get my shirt in there.